Are you sure this is okay? You're in country, dude. Live a little. Now she's pretty sensitive, so go easy on the throttle, okay? All right. What's up, guys? So there's something I want you to think about here, because my shop constantly gets calls from people. I ended up closing my motorcycle and scooter repair shop because I prefer to just buy these, fix them, and sell them as opposed to fix other people's stuff. Kind of got tiresome real quick. That being said, having dealt with a lot of scooters, and I used to do a lot of electric scooter stuff too, um, I gotta tell you, there's some things I want you to think about. You know, this is a this is a scooter back here. It looks like a sport bike, but it's got a scooter engine. It's a twist and go throttle. There's no gears. You just twist and go. It takes two gallons of gas. Gets 100 miles to the gallon. You can pick these things up for about $1,500 to $2,000 and a little bit more. I get a lot of people that call me and say, "Hey, uh, do you fix electric scooters?" My answer to them is no. And the reason why most places do not fix electric scooters is because it's really hard to keep parts in stock for all these off-brand Chinese like electric scooters that are out here. Like it's almost impossible to keep parts anywhere for these things. So my suggestion to you is if you're gonna buy an electric scooter, they're great. They're great if you buy a reputable brand that has good company backing behind it. Spend the extra money, because if you buy a Chinese off-brand electric scooter, you're going to end up with problems down the road and you're not gonna be able to get parts for that scooter and you're gonna be totally bummed out that you bought a throwaway scooter for twelve hundred, fourteen hundred dollars when you could have just bought something like this with a with a you know, even though it's Chinese, it still has a GY6 engine on it. And most Chinese scooters that come out all have the GY6 engine. The parts are really cheap, it's easy to get on eBay. Most parts are like ten to fifteen to twenty dollars, and they're super simple to fix. And there's a huge group of people that mess with these, and there's tons of YouTube videos out about how to solve problems and fix them. So why would you go buy a $1,500 Chinese electric scooter when there's no company backing, there's basically no branding, the company's not going to represent the product, and you can't take them anywhere to have them fixed. No shop works on, not even e-bike shops work on the off-brand Chinese electric scooters. You're basically buying a throwaway scooter and you just hope that it lasts two years, a year. You know, if it has any kind of failure, then good luck finding the electronics because they're just off-brand electronics, or like you just you can't find parts for them. So, I get I get the question a lot when people call me and say, "Hey, I have a Chinese. I'm thinking about buying this Chinese scooter. I bought a Chinese uh, scooter that's electric." I go, "Dude, sell it. Get rid of it. Do what you can. I hope you didn't pay much for it. Go buy a gas scooter, even GY6 Chinese off-brand scooters. They're super, super cheap and easy to work on. There's tons and tons of videos out there. That's why I make videos to help you guys." fix these problems, but buying these off-brand Chinese scooters that are electric, you're just asking for problems. You're basically buying something that if it, if it has any catastrophic failure of the electronic components, it's a throwaway machine now. You just may as well just chuck it in the trash and give up. And then you'll be mad at yourself because you could have just for the same money gone and bought something like that or a full-size bike like this. You know. But the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, me, I'll always choose gas. Always, I'll always choose a gas scooter over an electric scooter any day. It's just, they just, I don't know. It's, it's the three, what, three dollars to fill that four. Well, right now with gas prices, four dollars to fill the tank. You go a hundred miles on four dollars. You don't have to wait for it to charge. You just gas and go. And they're super easy to maintain, work on, and fix. As long as you have an average toolbox, I mean, I would gas is the way to go. Don't do. Don't get an electric scooter unless you absolutely have to. And if you're going to, buy a reputable brand. Buy from a good company. Segway, something like that. Something that has you know, uh, uh, a company where you can send it back and they'll actually fix it or there's parts readily available and you can fix them yourself. I mean, you guys, I'm just being 100 with you, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm being 100% with you guys. Buy from a reputable company if you're going to do that. I cannot stress this enough. No scooter or e-bike places work on electric scooters. If you buy a two, three, four, five hundred dollar electric scooter from China, and it breaks, that's it. That's it. You're down five, six hundred, whatever you spend on that scooter, you're down. You're not. It's not fixable. You're not. The, the, think about it this way. It's not like that where if it has a small part failure, you just replace the simple part. If an electric scooter has a problem, you're going through the electronics with a multimeter trying to find where the break in the wire is or what little tiny component failed on it. With these, they're simple simple all the parts are cheap they're easy there's tons of videos to help you figure out your problems just saying guys think about it 
All right, well, if you like this video and you want to, you know, watch some more, subscribe, hit the bell, notification, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Toodles. You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say, that's the bad guy. So say good night to the bad guy. Come on. The last time you're gonna see a bad guy like this again, let me tell you. Come on.